David Zeritsky from the Bond Experience. Welcome back. We've got a short video, but a fun one. We're going to be talking about the Spectre gloves, the gloves that you see in Spectre. And the first ones we're going to show you come in this absolutely beautiful bag. And this can only be from Agnelli, or Agnel, or Agnel. I don't know how you pronounce it, but these are gorgeous gloves. Now, the reason I'm wearing this particular outfit is the gloves that we find in this beautiful bag from this company that were supplied were worn by Bond in two different scenes. Not only were they worn in the Mr. White scene, but they were worn in the Solden scenes when Bond is wearing this particular outfit. And these are the gloves. And by the way, I've got to start off this video by thanking one gentleman, and that is Blair Ballard. Yes, our UK correspondent, Blair Ballard. He is the one that convinced this company to remake these gloves. They had stopped making them. They were out. They were gone. Sold out. You couldn't find them. Blair had them remake these, and here they are. They come with this wonderful little card in here to keep their shape. So it says, through its seasonal collection, the glove maker, Agnelli, creates fashion accessories that meet the same superior quality since 1937. That is insanity. So let's talk about these gloves. These are supposed to be the cold end of fall winter gloves that Bond wears and they are comfortable. This is a size 8. The instructions on how to measure them online were perfect. But you can see the type of detail. My fingers are going right to the end there's no break in period for this. This is perfect right from the get go. You can see that it comes up to the wrist. It's got that kind of cinching going on. It's got this nice little cut, but it's beautifully sewn. A lot of gloves tend to kind of go off the reservation as far as how they're done, but there's just enough padding in here to feel like it would take the cold off and the air. You can see why he wore it to visit his good old friend, Mr. White. You can see why it was on coming into uh, Solden around the Q restaurant. Um, who knows, maybe he was even holding this particular map. I don't know. But I do know that I love these gloves and I will be trialing that out in the outside. But there was another pair of gloves that Bond wore quite a bit in the movie and that is these gloves. These are the Dent gloves. Now Dents has been around since 1777. So they got a couple years on Agnelli. But you may also remember dents from Skyfall. They were used by when Bond was in the Shanghai scenes and he was wearing dents when he was the chauffeur, for want of a better word. But they came in handy when it comes to holding on to elevators. Bond didn't use these particular ones to hold on elevators. No, he used this to drive his car at the end of the movie as well as when he was in Rome. And here they are. Here are the driving gloves from Dents. Now you're going to notice that they're covered in a lot of different holes. That's for typical driving gloves so your hand can breathe. So you're in a controlled climate, you're driving your car. You'll also notice how tight these fit me. Now, it's not tight like excruciating, like it's cutting off my circulation. It's tight so I can get a good grip on the steering wheel. But you'll notice this wonderful little accent piece right here to kind of make sure that your driving glove isn't slipping even though it is well banked in having this kind of cinching going on. Now here's the reality. These are driving gloves. These aren't ski gloves. These are driving gloves. And there's a right way and a wrong way to put it on. You can see that I'm putting a thumb into here and I'm pulling down like this. So Dents actually has a how to take on your gloves and take off of them. So that's the right way to put them on. The right way to take them off is to undo them and then give this just the tiniest little tug, but then literally, almost like you're tasting your fingers after a good chicken meal, I don't know what that means, um, and literally start to pull them one at a time very gently until you can then peel them off. I don't feel like I'm giving the review of these gloves justice. The reality is, is we've got to put these driving gloves to the test, don't we? I mean, this is the Bond experience. It's not the Bond review. So why don't we go test these out and see how they work out in the real world. So obviously now we are driving and I'll, I'll actually probably put the camera over here to my gloves since we want to concentrate on the gloves. First thing I want to talk about with 
these gloves is you're going to notice that these are nice and tight. Now they're not overly tight like I mentioned, but you don't want driving gloves to be slouchy. Reason being is, is that you want it to be almost a second skin on the steering wheel. Now you're going to see my hand go down to the stick. Okay, we're going to give this a little pull and we're off to the races. The camera's going to jump around a little bit because folks, we are actually driving back on the steering wheel. Now, nice thing is, is what Dents has done is they've put a lot of the holes in not only the fingers and the hands, but on the tips too. What's nice about that is if you have a car with touch sensitive screens, you can actually manipulate them. Now, I am not an advocate, obviously, of uh, texting and driving at all. A lot of dangerous, bad things happen when that goes on. But if you're at a stop or if you're in a parking lot, what's nice is you do not have to take off these gloves to text. You can actually use your navigation, you can do your touch screen. And what's nice about it is, is again, it's like that second skin. Now, here's my little asterisk. I have broken this glove in over five or six different round trip drives. So as you can see, the flexing is really good. It doesn't bind at all. Um, it takes a little tiny bit of time to break in the leather, but it's worth it. I've seen a couple people buy these gloves too big. You don't want to do that. You don't want it to be slouchy because when you put your hands on the steering wheel, the glove will kind of slip and move and it will become very uncomfortable after a while. This particular strap right here, by the way, didn't look very functional. It looked kind of like, oh, that's a cute little strap. But what's nice about it is, is it acts as a buffer between your watch and other apparatus on your sleeve, as well as a nice binder for any cinching that goes on with the gloves. So I'm digging these gloves. I mean, I think you can tell that I'm a huge, huge fan of these gloves. But now let's try the other ones out in the wild. So now we're out in the wild, so to speak. It's about 45 degrees here in Tyler Park in Pennsylvania, and I'm wearing the Solden gloves. So these are obviously the ones, again, that he wears in front of Mr. White, as well as the Ice Q restaurant and that whole scene. Now, I've got to tell you, I'm happily surprised about these. I don't like wearing leather gloves out in the cold like this, and it's not freezing. It's certainly not Austria right now, but usually thin leather gloves get very cold. They're actually colder than just your raw hands. What's nice about these is because of the insulation, because of what's on the inside here and the fabric and everything, um, it causes a buffer. So my hands, my fingertips especially, are nice and warm. Now, here's the thing. Bond uses these as tactical gloves. He's holding guns. He's firing in them. I wouldn't use them for that. The fingers are still too thick. I would actually rather use the driving gloves to hold a gun and pull a trigger. So for skiing, snowboarding, pulling a gun, tactical, not so much. Wearing with a suit, wearing with this outfit, taking a stroll in the park with my wife like I'm doing right now, perfect. Man about town, no problem. Tactical, think of something else. But I do like the gloves. I'm enjoying them. Still breaking them in, maybe the third time I'm wearing them, and they still have that kind of crunchiness, but I can see these getting very, very supple over time. Talk to you soon.